Hi, welcome to Ever Wonder. My name is Daniel Kang, and today I'll be explaining drinking etiquette and culture in South Korea. In Korea, it's said that the success of your interpersonal relationships and your business is roughly correlated to how well you can follow the rules, but also how well you can drink. Note that as a foreigner, you won't be required to know all the rules, but it could come as a pleasant surprise to your hosts and your friends that you do have knowledge of the various idiosyncrasies of drinking in Korea. Koreans consider alcohol as a way to really get to know someone. While at the workplace you're presenting your formal self, it's your informal self that comes out, or your true self, when you are drinking. So when a Korean is offering you an alcoholic beverage, consider it as an invitation for them of them wanting to open up to you and vice versa. If I was at a bar in Korea and I was pouring a drink for myself from a pitcher, my friends would ask, hey Daniel, are you having a bad day? It's important to note that in Korea, you never pour drinks for yourself and it's customary and a sign of respect to always pour drinks for others. So remember that if, you, if your glass is empty, never pour a drink by yourself out of a pitcher, but simply hold your empty glass out, and any respectable Korean will always pour that drink for you. Another important rule is to always receive and pour drinks with both hands. If you're the senior person yourself, then it's completely alright to pour and receive drinks with one hand. Another practice is to always face away from your superiors while drinking. With friends this is less common, but it's important to always face away from your elders while imbibing your drink, as a matter of respect and courtesy. In any society heavily influenced by Confucianism, respect for your elders or your seniors is very commonplace. The first thing Koreans will ask to one another when they meet for the first time is, what year were you born? This in turn also affects drinking. So when you're at a drinking occasion with your superiors, your boss, or your father-in-law, you'll always have them sit at the head of the table or the place of honor. Their drink is usually always poured first, but you do not start drinking once only their drink is poured. You wait until everyone's drink is poured and then you all down it together. Even if you're not a heavy drinker or you have a severe distaste of alcohol, you should still not just try to refuse the first round of drinks. While it might be considered a good reason to not drink in Western societies may lead to negative connotations about your personality, such as being impersonal. But if you really need a way to find yourself to retreat from drinking, then find yourself a way to discreetly rid yourself of drinking the alcohol or keep your glass at half full. In Canada, if I was outrageously drunk, I would most likely attempt to sober myself up by drinking water or coffee. But in Korea, only half the battle is getting drunk. Once you're at that point, it's common to drink more until you pass out. Another important aspect is to always fight for the bill in any meal or drinking situation. Your elders or your seniors will almost always pay for the meal, but even though you know you're not going to pay, you should still make the half-hearted attempt. If it isn't clear who should pay for the meal, then fight for it. Koreans are loyal people, and one occasion of kindness will earn you an ardent friend. If there's one thing that will definitely be on every Korean's itinerary after drinking, it's going to karaoke. Singing at a dorebang is a national obsession illustrated by the huge number of karaoke bars across the country. Your refusal to sing is absolutely futile. You'll be encouraged, pressured, and threatened until you grab that mic and sing your favorite Sonia Shida song. And if you're able to leave a dorebang without singing, then you may be a non-human person like a dolphin. The most common type of alcohol in Korea is soju and beer. Soju is a distilled alcohol made from barley, wheat, and grain. It tastes similar to like a wari vodka. And another popular option that soju is drank is somek, which is basically the combination of the letters soju and mekju, which is beer. And soju is usually drank in shots, but in this instance, you drop the shot into, the, into a, a glass of beer and then you down it together. Finally, of course, we shouldn't forget the most important word you will need in Korea. So cheers, konde.